Hi guys, Rachel Youngson here from usedpr.com and wholefoodplr.com. I hope that you have had a wonderful holiday. Welcome to our first PLR Power Hour of 2019. Um, if you are new to PLR, if you have any questions about PLR, please feel free to reach out to me directly at rachel at usedplr.com or on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash usedplr. Uh, some folks are in different time zones. Some people are in... Um, aren't able to attend these power hours live, but they they do have questions from week to week. So feel free to reach out to me anytime you need. Hi, everybody. It's really good to see everyone here. Hi, Carol. I hope you had a really great Christmas. Harry, welcome, welcome. It's good to see you. Jen, we had a great talk already, but we are doing some exciting stuff, Jen and I, and I can't wait to tell everybody about it, but mom's the word for now. Um, so, Let's start with, um, let's start with some of our goals for, for this 2019. And before we get started, I, I should tell you guys that um, I'm not in my office today and my headphones are not working today. So there's likely going to be background noise and I'm really sorry about that. And uh, we can definitely close early if uh, it becomes a nuisance for anybody. Um, but yeah, so sorry about that in advance. But let's start with some of our goals for 2019. And, and of course, we like to look at things from the perspective of how it relates to PLR primarily, but we can also, whatever you have, if you say it, then when you say it to a group like us, then it's, it's out there. So um, a lot of people like that. And I can go first. My goals for 2019 include um, building up our usedplr.com resource site, continuing to grow our PLR Power Hour, and we want to get on a, um, a strict release schedule over at Whole Food PLR. So we want to get on like maybe every a bi-weekly release schedule or um, every three-week release schedule. So let's start with Carol. Hi, Carol. It's really good to see you today. Can I unmute you? Can you throw something in the chat if I can unmute you? Great. So I, hi, Carol, how are you? Actually, I'm just coming back from being sick for a week after being gone for a week. So I feel like I'm way behind. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my goodness. And right over the holidays, too, you poor thing. Well, I didn't get sick till after the, uh, after holidays. But. <clears throat> well, that, thank goodness for that, at least. Did you get to enjoy your break? I did. I did. Good. Before you got sick. <laughs> Poor thing. Exactly. Uh, for anyone who is uh, new to Carol, she runs uh, carolbrusiger.com, and she has a great journal on evaluating your, your new year. Um, so I will go ahead and throw that into the chat box. So Carol, what are... Have you been working on anything specific, or what are some of your goals for this year? Um, a couple of my goals are to do some, to get books published that are my own. That's one. But in terms specifically of PLR, I <clears throat> would like to start a site in a community around um, planners and journals that are keyed into particularly my other community of my main um, Transform Your Life After 50, but also broader so that I can. Uh, it'll be a way to extend my reach so that people who aren't 50 or over will see my stuff and say, oh, but I know somebody who is. So it's part of my expansion pro, um, plan. Mm -hmm. And now, so um, are you thinking of, I, I assume you're, you're going to use these TLR journals? Yeah, I've got, I've bought tons of stuff and I need to. I'll, I'll obviously adapt and whatever, but I have lots of raw material. <laughs> That's great. Lots and lots. <laughs> and you know, the thing about journals is it's so, like Jen showed us the other week, it's so easy to get in and modify and then throw it out there to the world. You know, it's not like you have to spend all this time proofing and, and tweaking and um, it just, it's, it's a much faster process. So that's really great. 
And I need to get into that routine and that mindset where it's not a big deal. I can just do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, Dennis Becker from um, Earn 1K a Day. He says that money loves speed. And the theory behind that is that it doesn't matter if it's great, doesn't matter if it's perfect. You just have to get it out there and you can always tweak it later. Um, yeah. That's something that I'm trying to really engulf and, uh, and you moving into this 2019 year as well. But um, Carol, did, can you refresh my memory? You don't currently have an affiliate program. Is that right? Correct. Is that one of your goals for 2019 also, or? It needs to be, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's totally, you know, it's your business, it's totally up to you. Um, but if you did get to the, to the point where you felt like that was um, something you wanted to do, mm -hmm. um, we could definitely have the conversation of who may be interested in, um, in promoting you and who, who may be a good fit for you to promote and, and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah. So this is a question for me. Um, when, is there any guideline for when it makes sense to start an affiliate program? I mean, I'm, I have such a small list. I've got so much growing to do and I just don't know what, at what point that makes sense. Well, here's the thing. I, there's no like set guideline on when the best time is. Some people have different theories on it though. So um, some folks, when they're brand new, they run through, J they run their products through JVZoo, which has its own affiliate program. Right. And I know that I've talked about that in the past because it's, it's really easy for folks to do that. Um, and it does help to build your list and whatnot. But of course, JVZoo is not your own site. So um, whenever you make your own affiliate program, there's a little bit of there's a learning curve. There's a little bit of um, um, like tech issues and that kind of thing. And Jen says to do it early. And I, I tend to agree with her. If you do it as soon as you can, it's better than to wait because later down the road, when you have 15, 20 products, it's, it can become too tedious. Like it can become a, a big headache, especially if you don't have the ability to outsource it to someone else. The uh, flip side of that is of course, you're going to want to, I would say do it in your spare time, maybe put like an hour a week towards it. Hey Bill, good to see you today. Um, I would, I would make sure that your main focus is building those products um, and getting them out there. Does, does that, does that make sense? Does that, um, that's real helpful. Thank you, Rachel. Sure. And as far as, um, I think I may have already said this, you may have heard this before Carol, but I apologize if you have. Um, but one thing that I always recommend when you do an affiliate program and you're looking into what to do as an affiliate program is to look at other folks who are in the same niche as yourself and what kind of affiliate program setup they have going. Because a lot of times people feel more comfortable promoting someone who has an affiliate platform that they are that someone else is used to. So for instance, Coach Glue uses Infusionsoft. And if I wanted Coach Glue to promote me, then one of my first thoughts would be, should I use Infusionsoft too? Because even if they don't know me, they know that system, they trust that system, and they can get things easily from that system. Hmm. Um, so just, just a little food for thought, but, um, okay. And yeah. And, uh, Jen says to go ahead and make connections with your folks in your industry. You already have a list and ask them to review and then promote your products. Jen and I are like totally on the same, same wavelength. <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, when you do go to court people to say, Hey, will you look at my product? You always want to be able to give them a full review copy and, um, some people are like, if you don't know somebody, then of course it's, it's your discretion. But if it's someone, for instance, Jen has been in the, is in the planner game. She's been in the planner game for a while. If you had a PLR planner pack and you wanted her to review it, send her a re review copy. I 
never done planners. And let's say you don't know me, you might not want to send me a review copy, but you want to send a full review copy to anyone that you want to get on board for promoting you when that time comes. Um, all right. So Ms. Carol is, do you have any wins for this week that you want to go over or are you still kind of like recovering from everything, which is totally fine? Yeah, I'm totally recovering. Thank you though. <laughs> yeah. I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better. There's a lot of funky stuff going on. I, I hope you're, uh, hopefully 2019 will be a nice year for health for all of us. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and mute you, sweetie. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Um, Mr. Bill, are you lurking today? Are you at the shop? If you can just throw something in the chat. And while he's doing that, Harry, it's really good to, to meet you. Do you want to lurk today or would you like to, to chat about something? Um, please feel free to throw your answer into the chat box. And while you guys are doing that, I will get the for our uh, previous PLR Power Hours, and that way you can see some of our expert content, um, get some of those uh, resources that we've talked about in the past, and get some, uh, some good detailed training uh, for free on using your PLR. All right, guys, I threw that link in the chat box for you, and uh, that will give you a brief in, uh, introduction to basically what we do here and some of the past guests that we've had and some of the things that you can uh, you can get from these power hours that we do. Um, thank you for letting me know, Bill. I hope everything's going great at the shop. Hopefully, uh, your uh, first quarter will be huge. Um, all right, I am, let's see. Uh, Mr. Harry, if you wouldn't mind letting me know if you want to, if you want to lurk or participate today, um, you can either unmute yourself and just let me know, or we do have a chat box. If you hover over the bottom part of your screen, you'll see a little bubble that says chat, and you can click on that to bring up the chat box. Um, Jen, did you want to talk today? Uh, did you want to uh, talk about some of your goals for 2019 for a planning attic site, or or not. Either way is fine. If you could just let me know in the chat box, I'd appreciate it. All right, great. Can I unmute you, Jen? Hey, ma'am. Seems hey. like we haven't talked in forever, right? <laughs> no, no kidding. So, you know, actually during our talk earlier, I had I said I had got one of the most recent packs from April. I think it was April. Anyway, I couldn't figure out what it was, but I'm sitting here working on it as I speak. Um, the bullet dirt journal challenge that I just um, put up like a couple of weeks ago or a week ago. I don't know. It's been a while. <laughs> it's all of my days are running together. Um, but I grabbed her stuff and I just turned around and immediately put it up. Um, I put it into my um, mailing list, um, what autoresponder, and uh, and then I whipped up like some new printables to go with it. Way to go, Jen! Yeah. So you, you know, we were talking a little bit with Carol about um, releasing products, and my goal for product release, and, and Carol's goals for this year too. Um, you are really you are um seem to be really good at getting something and throwing it back out there 
like it's a hot potato almost. You know, you seem really good at grabbing it, doing what you need to do, and getting it back out there. Mm -hmm. Do you have any, like, strategies for doing that? Do you have a system maybe that you follow every time? Or do you mm -hmm. have a membership site that you maybe use that uh, gives you that PLR on a monthly basis that you just then turn around and... Okay, so that's actually a great question, and it's actually really funny that it seems that way because I don't think it is that way um, until recently. So um, kind of until I hit this particular niche, uh, I was not organized, and I was just kind of, you know, I would do something here and do something there. I have like five different websites and, you know, different things that I was interested in or that were part of my life, but I was very scattered. So kind of until I hit this uh, and started doing this particular business, um, I didn't really have a plan or a, uh, a schedule or even like really a, a process, but now I do. Uh, I wouldn't say it's completely nailed down, but it's definitely um, in progress. But I guess my, my main advice when it comes to this is when you have um, a focused priority or a focused goal or a focused business or whatever it is, whatever you're focused on, um, if you find PLR that you want to use, my advice is don't buy it and then put it in a folder on your computer and don't look at it again. Thinking, oh, I'm gonna to get to that because more often than not, it doesn't happen. Um, I just spent actually all day yesterday in between working uh, with customers at our shop, downloading um, from, a, from um, Jennifer over at Health, Health and Wellness PLR, I think that's the name of it. Um, because she has fantastic PLR on journaling and planning and all of that stuff. And I knew it, I'm actually a lifetime member, but until recently I didn't have a really good um, focus or plan or whatever. I couldn't really see how I wanted to use it all, but um, I actually was able to hire my older daughter to start taking some of this PLR and using it for blog posts and stuff that I don't have time to really sit down and do. Um, so I'm hiring her to do that. And, and in the process, I'm actually getting her trained in a new set of skills too. So maybe she can be a VA for some other people down the road. Um, you know, that is amazing. That's, wow, that's really smart. I've heard of people, I've heard of folks who uh, I do, some folks know that I do Amazon as well on the side. And mm -hmm. um, I've heard of people using folks in their house, like their kids and outsourcing shipping and stuff to them. Mm -hmm. But I haven't, that's really unique though, to take your child and give them a set of skills um, and help them to kind of get an understanding of what you do, but be able to especially take those skills and use them for themselves. That's yeah. good, for you. good thinking. Good well, strategy. Yeah. And Actually, it's my older daughter, so it's kind of remote work. She lives in Kansas City, and I live closer to Wichita. Um, mm. My younger daughter probably has no interest in doing this at all, um, although she'd be really good at it, I think. But my older daughter needs money, and um, she's young enough to have the skills, <laughs> you know? Um, trying to teach my mother how to do this stuff would be out of the question, um, but, you know, my older daughter is young enough and um, and needs the money, so she's motivated in a couple of ways to actually learn this stuff. And I don't think that any of it's like super difficult. It's just a matter of kind of showing her the ropes, and then um, you know, hopefully throughout it she'll learn it. But when it comes to grabbing that PLR and using it, I have spent years buying stuff and going, okay, I'm going to use it over here but then not actually making myself do that um, like for instance I have a I probably have all of the uh, low carb and paleo content from your whole food site 
mm -hmm. that I had every intention of using on um, our low carb diabetic website because my my youngest daughter is diabetic type two, um, and we completely changed uh, her blood sugars and all of that stuff through different eating. But um, but I never did it, you know. At some and that's because I wasn't as engaged in it as I wanted to be, as I hoped I could be. Um, but also part of it is just that I didn't have a good plan for it either, you know. So I just bought stuff here and there, and I was like, oh, I could use that there, and but then I didn't make myself do it. Whereas with um, with this bullet journal stuff, I saw the pack and I went, oh my gosh, I can totally do that. It was um, already laid out well. It was already separated into like daily challenge uh, sections. So all I had to do pretty much was copy it, paste it, put in, you know, maybe a paragraph here and there with my personal reflections on it. And then um, I took, I don't know, maybe a couple of hours and went through it and went, okay, what kind of a, a planner page or a bullet journal page um, can I do for this? And the great thing is with bullet journals in particular is they're really super simple. So it wasn't, you know, time consuming or hard. It was just a matter of deciding and then making myself sit down and do it. Good for you. Yeah, it's one thing that made a huge difference for me was um, I created it. I, I'm the same way. And I think everybody has to a degree like this. It, it's hard to pass up different PLR special offers when they come out. And especially if you think, I think I can use it this way. And you know that it's at a huge, huge discount. It doesn't always mean that we have a plan for it, you know. Um, right. And one of the things that really made a difference for me um, is creating, I have like on my, on my desktop, I have a this week folder and in that folder, I have all of the most important things for this week that, that are like, got to get it done, do or die, um, top tasks. And that way they're all like right there where I need them. So I, I totally get what you're saying. And once you, about having, um, a process and, and grabbing, grabbing Jen's, Jennifer's stuff and, Jennifer Anderson, for anyone, anyone who doesn't know her, she runs Health and Wellness TLR, and she's, she's really good people, and she makes beautiful, beautiful packages. Um, we have a link for her in the chat. Um, Carol wants to let you know, Jen, that you are so helpful and encouraging. And Carol, I cannot agree more. Isn't she great? Um, for those who are, who are newer to our Power Hour, we actually had Jen come a few weeks ago, uh, maybe a a few months ago at this point, and she talked to us about how to edit a PLR journal and plant planners and journals when you get them. So um, she runs plantaddicts.com and she's everyone in our community really likes her, as you can tell. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, and thank you, Carol. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I'm going to go ahead and, and you, you, if that's okay. okay. And yeah. Before I do, though, do you have any wins for the week that you wanted to go over or, or not? Oh. Either way is fine. You know, actually, um, my celebration this week is really just is getting that, um, that bullet, bullet journal challenge done and out there. Like, I didn't overthink it. I didn't worry about whether people were going to do it or not. I just did it. Um, and it's kind of a, it was kind of a, pre-test because I want to start doing challenges using um, using PLR from several different sources. I, I think providing I can get my daughter um, you know kind of into a pattern and she's helping me on the back end with things. Um, I want to do maybe six of those so like every other month do a new 30-day challenge um, and Probably they'll be free. I'm not sure, but that's also a way to get people onto the list and then hopefully, um, you know. Yeah, I, I completely understand and go from there. That's a great win. Thank you. And thank you for letting everybody share here. I really, I like this format. Uh, I appreciate that, Jen. You're welcome. It's, it, um, I, know, I know I've said it to you and Carol before, but for 
for those who are who are just coming in to our power hour and what we do here it's really like the first couple of power hours was really intimidating because i was like is anybody gonna is this gonna be of use to anybody is anybody gonna like it but i find that if you like we're really kind of developing a community here and that's that's exciting to see that like the same folks come every week and and to see people um linking up and deciding they want to do jvs together based on meeting each other through this forum um it's real nice <laughs> it's really yeah. cool. so thank you jen i'm going to go ahead and mute you um okay no one has any objections what we might do is even just close early today um it's almost one uh, i'm sorry it's almost 12 30 now um unless uh harry if, if if you have anything you want to throw in, we can definitely address it. Um, but I think we've we've hit everybody that wants to speak today. Um, I did want to let everybody know that Kelly McCausey from White Label Perks, she is starting a PLR implementation hour, which is like a, um, it's essentially a co-working hour. So you'll, once you log in, you will, um, it's not a discussion forum like this but I do believe that you state your goals at the beginning and then at the end of the hour, everyone comes together and talks about what they actually were able to accomplish. So it's kind of like a co-working session. Um, and details of that are on today's email from Use PLR. If you want to talk to me directly about that, I can totally um, shoot me an email or contact me on Facebook and I can, I can get you those links um, Carol says that what Jen is saying is really helpful and encouraging. Yes, she's, you know, it's so funny, Carol, because I keep telling Jen, it's, it's amazing. Like we didn't even, I, um, didn't even know her before what, like last Halloween. And so to see like all of the progress that she's making, it's like super encouraging for me too. Um, Carol also says that this is just what she needed today to reconnect and feel encouraged. Thank you, Carol. I am so glad that we got to reconnect too. I really missed uh, talking to you guys over the holiday break, but I think it was really good for us to kind of have that time to be away from our business or to scale back on what we're trying to, to do. Um, because I know for me, I feel, I feel really refreshed. <laughs> so, um, okay guys. So if no one has anything pressing, I am going to go ahead and close us off early today. And next Tuesday, we will be meeting at one o'clock. That's our normal time. Uh, one o'clock Eastern at rachelonzoom.com. Again, if you want information on the white label perks, uh, PL, PLR implementation hour, please shoot me an email at rachel at usplr.com or contact me on the USPLR Facebook page and I'll get that information over to you. If anyone has any questions before now and next week, please let me know. All right, guys, it was really great talking to everybody. We are gonna have an amazing 2019. I cannot wait to see what everybody accomplishes. Um, all right, guys, this is Rachel Youngson from usplr.com and wholefoodplr.com. Have a great day.